हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिन आर यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेट अस अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिन आर सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन The Iraqi dinar has long attracted attention from both domestic and international investors, with speculation surrounding its potential revaluation growing in recent years. Recent developments suggest that Iraq is on the brink of significant monetary reform, including the much-discussed removal of three zeros from the currency. This article will delve into the implications of this move, drawing comparisons with Kuwait's historical currency reform in 1990. while also examining the broader economic context within Iraq key factors include article 140 the hydrocarbon law and anticipated changes in the exchange rate in terms of historical context kuwait underwent a similar situation following iraq's invasion in 1990 where the kuwaiti dinar was reintroduced in smaller denominations restoring stability and public confidence the kuwaiti government reassured its citizens that larger bills like the 25000 dinar note would maintain their value and operate similarly to smaller denominations today iraq appears to be approaching a similar phase as its government encourages citizens to exchange their larger dinar notes for smaller ones this is seen as a critical moment for the people of iraq with the government indicating that such a transition is not only beneficial but also essential for the nation's economic health The proposed removal of three zeros from the Iraqi dinar is expected to dramatically alter the currency's structure, with a suggested timeline indicating that citizens will have roughly 3 weeks to exchange larger notes for smaller denominations. This shift aims to simplify financial transactions and enhance the purchasing power of ordinary citizens. The government has clearly communicated that those who exchange their currency within the given time frame will be shielded from potential economic disruptions. underscoring that this is a pivotal moment for Iraq's economic transition parallel to this monetary reform is the importance of article 140 of the Iraqi constitution which deals with disputed territories and is a crucial component of national reconciliation efforts recent meetings led by prime minister al sudani have focused on advancing the completion of article 140 as it holds far reaching implications for Iraq's future as noted by al sudani The country is nearing the final stages of this process, which bodes well for both political stability and economic growth. The successful implementation of Article 140 is closely tied to the hydrocarbon law, which governs Iraq's oil resources. A stable exchange rate will be essential for managing oil revenues and ensuring fair distribution of wealth across different regions. The hydrocarbon law is another critical element in Iraq's economic restructuring. designed to regulate the oil sector the law aims to ensure that all regions of iraq benefit equitably from the country's vast oil wealth however for this law to be fully effective it is necessary to establish an official exchange rate that accurately reflects the true value of the iraqi dinar the interplay between article 140 and the hydrocarbon law suggests that iraq's government is preparing for a wide ranging economic overhaul with a 3 year budget on the horizon Citizens can anticipate substantial progress in salary distributions, public services, and overall economic stability as Iraq moves closer to removing three zeros from its currency. Establishing a new exchange rate becomes a priority. The current exchange rate does not reflect the nation's economic realities, and a revised rate will enable more effective resource allocation, ensuring that all citizens benefit from Iraq's wealth. The government's commitment to this reform is evident in its communication with the public, emphasizing that the removal of zeros is not a cosmetic change but a necessary step for the country's economic revitalization. Reports of a new budget expected to be unveiled in June have heightened expectations, though questions remain about the government's readiness to implement these changes, particularly given the absence of Gazette issue 4782. which was expected to contain the budget nevertheless it is important to recognize that the timing of these reforms is intricately linked to the completion of article 140 and the hydrocarbon law to prepare the population the iraqi government has launched efforts to educate citizens about the upcoming changes public announcements and discussions aim to ensure that everyone understands the process and timeline for exchanging their currency additionally 
The government is encouraging citizens to take proactive steps to secure their financial futures. This anticipated removal of three zeros from the Iraqi dinar is not merely a monetary adjustment. It reflects a broader strategy aimed at empowering Iraq's citizens. As smaller denominations enter circulation, purchasing power will increase, spurring economic activity and improving living standards. Ultimately, the removal of three zeros from the Iraqi dinar marks a transformative moment in Iraq's economic trajectory. By drawing parallels to Kuwait's currency reform and highlighting the significance of Article 140 and the hydrocarbon law, it is evident that Iraq is on the path toward greater stability and growth. As Prime Minister al-Sudani and his government work to implement these reforms, it is crucial for Iraqi citizens to stay informed and prepared. The upcoming weeks and months will be critical in determining the success of these initiatives and Iraq's overall economic renewal. The introduction of a new exchange rate will not merely alter the numbers on a currency note. It has the potential to redefine Iraq's economic future, unlocking the potential of a nation rich in resources. Please subscribe to my channel and support me. Have a great day.